What's up everybody? Welcome back to another day in Car Mechanic Simulator with me, the Virtual Mechanic. And today's project, our monster truck, Ribson Starline. This thing is going to be a bit of a monster. Not quite like Frankenstein's monster in the last episode, but a different type of breed. This one is looking absolutely awesome and it does have... Can't really see it from there, but that is the Jaguar V8 engine in there looking absolutely insane. Let's have a look at some of the information about this one. It is the VM edition, 134, almost 1,000 kilometers on there. I got it from the semi-decent auction house, so, you know, it's not in too bad condition. Just above 50%, pretty much all the way around there. Did we get a good deal? <laughs> no, not even close. 52,555 is what I paid for this monster truck and could only sell it for 40,508, losing out on 12,047. Will we even make a profit on this one today? I'm not sure. Let's take it. Let's go further in there. As I said, it is the V8, the Jaguar engine, the AJ133, 720 horsepower on the base from this absolute monster truck. We will be throwing performance parts all over that one today, trying to make this one as insanely fast as we possibly can. Oh, I didn't mean to jump in quite that far to the engine. So obviously you've got the engine cover on there. Not my favorite. I don't particularly like engine covers that much, but this was mostly about the placement because I wanted to get this one a four-wheel drive. You've got a drive shaft in there. It doesn't quite line up. You can see the plates actually on the other side, but it works nonetheless. It still looks pretty good. I'm, I'm excited for this one. I'm really excited for this one. It is cool. I have made a cool livery for this one, but we do need to get it started. So let's head over to the car wash, even though it's not that dusty, and get this one cleaned up. Here we are then at the car wash. It's time to get this Ribson Starline all cleaned up. Let's get the bodywork all done. It is purple. We can see it's purple with the uh, Fast and Furious liver on it. Just saying. I'm not keeping that. Don't worry. I have created my own. Let's get this interior done. And let's get the monster truck back on the lift that it is a bigger than. And get this engine ripped out. Ready to start stripping everything down. Right. Now we do need to get this Ribson Starline up in the air. So let's go. I just think this is quite funny. The arms don't go all the way up. There we go. And then when you hit the next one, the car drops onto it and pushes itself up into the air. Pretty cool. I can already see the oil pan is right there. So we know we need to get it drained. And the other thing is you can't actually get under this car. You have to squeeze in <laughs> certain spaces. But anyway, let's see if this will actually work. Very close is in the framework there. But let's get you drained out. There we go. That's pretty clean, actually. Must have had a relatively recent oil change. Definitely not by me. But let's jump in. We need to get that, not rim, no, whoa, let's um, let's go over here, shall we? Thank you. We need to get that gearbox ripped out. We'll start with this drive shaft. This one should just lift out. There we go. And then we'll get this big one here. Out we come. Let's go. Off you come. A nice big old angle, as you would expect from a big monster truck with this engine up front. Let's have a look. Then we've got the transfer case. Lots of little bolts on this one. Out you come. And then the gearbox starter. There it is. Hiding from me, out you come a little starter, and then this gearbox. And now we should be able to rip this engine out. As you can see, there are no exhaust. There is exhaust. It's just not installed. So well, that should be all of that. Let's get this engine ripped out of here. Hopefully this will work. I don't know if this engine crane's quite tall enough to get up into the engine bay, but there we go. Let's get you out. Nice. That came out nice and easy. That is what we like to see. Let's get you put away. Let's see what we got going on on this engine on. In this engine bay then. It's got coolant reservoir, wishy-washy reservoir, power steering reservoir, and the brake servos all there. ABS pumper module hiding, 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 hidden. There we go. Just down there. Got the battery up there. One big radiator. The fuel filter. Every time. The air filter. And a lovely little fuse box. Get the roof off of that. And the ECU. Did see you hiding just there. That is, yeah, there's a lot going on in there. So we need to get all these liquids drained. I also need to get that fuel pump out. So let's just sit here for a minute. Additional tools, a drain tool, a click and hold. I'll be back in just a couple of moments. That's all the liquids drained. Let's start ripping stuff out, out with the radiator, out with all of these little reservoirs. The brake servo, the battery. Remember to put that one on charge. Let's go. ABS pump and a module out. You come. One rusty bolt in there. Not too bad. Out we come. Out we come. Let's grab the ECU and let's get this air filter out. Not oil filter, fuel filter, whatever I keep trying to call it. Air filter. Filters the air. There we go. Let's get you out. 
out you come out with the filter itself and out with the base i need to work on the fuse box in a minute but let's start by trying to get down the back oh my god this is a hard vehicle to get around this is quite a difficult one because the wheels are so big where's that fuel tank on there it is right let's get that pump out can't get the actual fuel tank out yet let's get this rear wheel off give us a better view under here see what's going on also the wheel is through the floor oh yeah because we're not up in the air yet that makes sense okay that's also through the floor so never mind we'll ignore that there is a lot going on here but the wheels were on so it does look to me like it's going to be complete both bushings we've got the sway bar end link we've got the brake we've got the drive axle and have we got the bearing the bearing is in there of course it is that's all looking complete to me bushing a bushing quickly check the other side sway bar end link bushing bushing a drive axle that is all there let's go down the front Let's get one of these other wheels off in a very precarious position the wheel through the floor but there we go it is what it is and what have we got here double wishbone a single shock with the sway bar end link is there it is four wheel drive so that drive axle is there we've got the hub bearing and we have got the bushings in and out of tie rod quickly check the other side in and out of tie rod sway bar end link wheel hub bearing and there it is sway bar end link that is all looking complete absolutely fantastic I'm going to get the rest of this suspension off. Before I do that, I'm going to get this fuse box cleared out. We're going to go check out that Jaguar engine, make sure there's nothing missing. Get everything repaired, then we'll be on to the bodywork before we get to check out today's beautiful livery. I'll see you in a minute. That's everything stripped off now, and it does look a little more normal. Not so jacked up in the air with those massive off-road wheels on it. It is looking cool, though. I really do like this. I'm looking forward to this build. Let's go and get this engine checked out. Let's throw the battery on charge on route. In we go. A bit of a big old block, this one. Looking forward to getting stuck into this. Look at all of that. I'm hoping this can all be painted awesome colours. Mm. There is a lot on this, though. So let's check. Have we got anything missing? It doesn't look like it in first glance. Looks like it is all there, which is always a good sign. I'm just going to take this cover off because I don't like it. There we go. Big old turbo supercharger there. Sorry, not turbocharger. Fuel, fuel fil oil filter. I'm not feeling very well, I'll be honest. My brain's all over the shop. Throttle on there as well. This one is a bit of a beast, so I'm not going to get this one all stripped down right now. I am going to start. I am going to do it, but I'm not going to do it on camera. So I'll get all of this stripped off if I can figure out where everything goes. Uh, then we're going to work on that bodywork next. So I need to get all of the bits repaired, ready to go back on this engine and uh, back onto that suspension. So I'll get all that repaired, replaced, or upgraded as per normal. I'll meet you back there in a minute. We'll get that body stripped down and check everything out before we build it back up. And head over to the paint shop. That's everything repaired, replaced or upgraded. Ready to go back on this. Well, mechanically at least anyway. We now need to work on this beautiful bodywork. And well, let's just crack on. Let's get it all stripped down. I didn't want to let me take off the front bumper then for some reason. I don't know why, but there we go. Let's whack on around this. Whack on. Crack on. Tear I don't know what I was trying to say there if I'm being honest. But never mind. Let's carry on. Let's get all of this out, out you come, out you come. Uh, there we go. Couldn't quite hit the lights there. Out you come, out you come. Moving on around. We should be able to get all of this. That should be everything. I can't really remember, but let's crack on. Let's get this interior out. That was the right button. There we go. One, two, three. There we go. And at number four, out you come, all of you. Let's just give it a double check and see if we got everything. One percent. That's a good sign. There we go. That is all out of there. So let's go and grab the welder. Let's get this frame all sorted out. Now, I paid a lot for this, 50,000 plus. And it was about, it was a little under 50%. So I'm going to say 1250. 1000. I still can't get it right. Never mind. Get it repaired. I will just quickly go into the shop. You've obviously got the body workstation, ribs and star line, all of the main parts there. Very nice and simple one. But you do also have a body tuning. For those of you who don't know, where you can go in and get some alternative parts, such as the alternative front bumper, the trunk with the big spoiler on it, all things like that. Obviously, we I think we are using all of these parts um, currently on the vehicle anyway, so it should be easy. I just need to get everything repaired, get it all back on. We'll get it all back together. Then we'll head over to the paint shop and get it painted. I do have a couple of bonus parts for this one as well, but they won't be going on until right near the end. So let's crack on with this. I'll get it repaired. I'll meet you back in a moment. Let's get this star line all back together then, ready to head over to the paint shop. Let's crack on with it. So front bumper, we've already seen it. It is the bumper B, also the hood is the hood B. The lights are also the light B. So there we go. All B parts for that front end 
Looking very tidy now, though. On with the front left fender and the front right fender. I did manage to repair all of the parts. I just had to buy windows and lights is all I needed to buy. So let, well, I'll say and interior, but let's carry on and let's get all of this in. In you go. On you go with the mirror and the rear, rear body window. There we go. Words. Trunk with the big spoiler on it, which is the B trunk and obviously the B bumper and the B tail lights. So a front end and a rear end, all B components. Let's crack on and carry on around. We're almost there. Left body window, door, and then a window and mirror. That should be all of the bodywork, I do believe. I believe so. Quick double check round. Doesn't look like there's anything missing. We know that license plate missing. I will get to that one in a moment. Let's get this interior in, though. In we go. So for the steering wheel, I've gone for steering wheel 7. I think it's very fitting of that sort of style. The bench seat, obviously, just the Starline bench seat. And then for my fronts, I went for my beautiful Nismo seats that I really do love. I think these are the best-looking seats in the game, in my opinion. They're absolutely incredible. Just need to get that license plate on now, so let's throw you on. I've obviously done the VM plate. This is the S-Line SMT. That stands for Starline Sports Monster Truck. Nice. S-Line SMT. S-Line Starline Sports Monster Truck. Looking a pretty cool. Let's get this one over to the paint shop and check out the livery that I've created for this one today and what colours we're going to go with. Here's the livery I've gone for then in this gunner metal matte grey with a Union Jack and stars and stripes on the top with the Polish flag. I don't know what it's called. I do apologise, guys. Don't know that one. We've also got some logos going across the back. Spoiler, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Discord. Car Mechanic Simulator, Red Dot and Virtual Mechanic with Monster Energy on there as well. Looking pretty sweet. We've also got some tyre tracks going up down the side, up over the front fender as well with some mud splats or some black splats. Just to sort of counteract it, I think it looks pretty cool. I'm liking the Gunmetal Grow. Also, we've got the Starline logo in that sort of Monster Energy green-ish colour. Hopefully it sort of works out. It is looking pretty sweet, though. I'm very pleased with this one. It is looking cool. I need to get some things painted. Let's get this car painted. And there we go. Come away from this one and sort of figure out what we're going to do. Now, I'm liking this Mac sort of gun metal gray color we've got going on here. I'm also liking this color as well. So we're going to blend some of this in there. Definitely some of the gray in there. Definitely some of that blue in there as well. So we're going to have a bit of green, green, gray and blue going on today. The odd splash of black, maybe. Suspension, it is mostly going to be visible under there. So what I might do is that central cross member in the blue and a few bits with the green off of there and then a few splashes of the gunmetal grey. Not quite sure what to do with the engine because it's not one I play around with too often. So I don't know what I'm going to do with the colours. So I'm going to have to try and play around. I've just noticed something. That's from the lettering. That's from getting this green. Oh, oh I'm stuck. Ah, That's a bit of a shame bit disappointed by that but it is what it is never mind but anyway let's move on i'm going to get some parts painted get this one back on the lift hopefully start reassembly with it all looking beautiful blues greens and some of this lovely matte gunmetal gray in there as well do let me know what you think of this livery i think it looks awesome but let's move on let's get some more of this car finished off that's everything painted, ready to go back onto the sports monster truck. Let's just get the shock assembled, ready to go on. So for the shock, I've gone for that gun at metal grey with the spring in the monster energy green. Not so much monster energy and maybe a bit darker than the body, but it still looks pretty cool. Did I take them off? I did take them off. Let's go. Before we get all the suspension assembled, I just need to throw on a couple of bonus body parts if i could press the right buttons that is and if i could get into here at the front here we've got a roof spoiler i know painted in the gunmetal gray going across there like that and if we go down the back here if i can make it to this one because of the wheel and the suspension and everything like that in my way there oh no there there it is and down here we've got spoiler one facing inward this is basically my body support connecting all the suspension to the car Anyway, let's jump in and start getting some of this suspension assembled. So for the front cross member, I've gone for that blue there, looking pretty tasty. Quite liking that. Matches the sort of stripe we've got going down at the front, and it's in the centre. On top of that, the front drive axle, I've done that one in the Monster Energy green colour, looking pretty sweet there. We will, no, we won't throw that front drive shaft on. We'll wait till later. Uh, let's go. Upper suspension arm in the green as well. There's a lot of green, a lot of blue in here. And a tiny little splash of that gunmetal grey. So let's get the lower one on. Also in the green there. Does look pretty cool though. Quite pleased with that. Let's get the drive axle in because we can. On you go. Sway bar end link in you go as well. Nicely done. And we get that lovely shock in there with the gunmetal grey and some more of that green. Looking pretty smart. 
Break caliper, I've gone for a blue this time, and it does look pretty good. Very closely matched to that front cross member. That's looking pretty sweet. That's this section done at the front. Let's move down the back and let's see what we've got going on down there. If I could even get down there, there we go. So the rear central cross member also in that blue, but it does look pretty cool. Let's get that rear sway bar in and let's get these rubber bushings on as well. On you go and on you go. And we do also have that rear sway bar end link on you go. Looking pretty good. Let's get some of these arms on, the rear suspension arm. And now these main bits of arms here are all in the green. Up you go in the green as well. Looking cool. Over we go. And let's maneuver around to the backside and get this one on as well. Also in that lovely green. Looking pretty cool. Then for the spring cap, we've got that gunmetal grey. Although maybe not quite so much on the metal there. With a green spring and then the shock cap on top. The shock absorber itself, I've done that one in the gunmetal grey and that looks pretty sweet. I quite like the colour of this. What are we missing? Drive axle. Let's get that drive axle in there if I could. There we go. Squeeze you one in and then we've got the last arm there. Done that one in the blue just for a bit of contrasting colour. And you should be able to see it from the side of the car as well. I believe this one sticks out a little bit far. And also you see there, that spoiler part, that's what this is attaching to. Bit of rigidity there, looking sweet. On we go, brake caliper in the blue again, looking nice. Very much green and blue with a slight splash of the gunmetal grey, both front and back. Looking pretty cool though, quite pleased with that. I'm going to crack on though, we need to get some more stuff in. Let's whoa, not get the big wheel in the way. Let's get that fuel tank in. I have done that one in the gunmetal grey, don't ask me why, but I have nonetheless. Anyway, I'm going to crack on, I'm going to get the rest of this suspension all finished before we move on to the engine bay. We will take a look at the complete suspension before we get that engine bay all built. And then we'll go and build that beautiful Jaguar engine ready to drop in. That's the suspension all finished. Looking a pretty awesome in the blue and green with a few splashes of gunmetal grey. Mostly on the shocks there, but looking pretty cool. We do need to jump in though and get this engine bay sorted. Look how far it sticks out. I know it's poking through the floor at the moment because the car's a bit too low down, but that will all be fixed once we've got the wheels on. Anyway, let's jump in and get this engine bay sorted out. What have we got in here then? Wishy washy reservoir. We know that coolant reservoir and the power steering reservoir. All you go. We've got a radiator at the front here with no fan housing kit, just the radiator on its own. ABS pump and the ABS module. Let's grab you guys in. Nicely done. Dropped in. In you go. Battery. Did I remember to pick it up? Yes. Yes, I did. I actually couldn't remember whether I did or not. Brake servo. In you go. And ECU. In you go. Now just two bits that have got some colour on them. So let's go for the air filter base. I've gone with that blue. Nicely coloured on there. Looking pretty sweet. Let's get the cover on there as well. And then for the clips, we've gone for that lovely Monster Energy Green. Well, close to monster energy green it's probably not a perfect match but it's never going to be i don't know the official colors for it that's that one and then for the fuse box i have just gone for that one in the green looking pretty sweet not much left to go now a few drive shafts to go on obviously drive shaft there drive shaft there the exhaust system needs to go in and we need to go and build that beautiful beautiful engine i'll crack on and get this fuse box finished next up we will go and build that engine so i'll see you in the next room in just a moment Let's go get this Jaguar engine built then. I've already started it. As you can see there, you've got the engine block on there. That is in the sort of gun metal grey-ish colour. Already done all the pistons and all of the clutch set up there. Wrong button. Let's jump in. Let's get that oil pan on. I have done that oil pan in that lovely green. Just for a bit of brightness. This is quite a bright engine if I'm being honest. So let's move around then. Let's go, let's go up. Let's get these engine heads on first. So we've got these, they're in the green. They are only the inside, obviously, as we already know with the performance parts. Engine heads, let's get you on. Let's get the other side on as well. In we go. Nice, nice, nice. On you go. So there's a good start. I'm going to do some really boring parts now. I've got to get all of these spark plugs in, all of these camshafts in, and then all of these camshaft caps on top as well. So I'm going to crack on and get all of that done. I'll be back in a second and we will finish off more of this beautiful V8 Jaguar engine. There we go. All the camshafts in, camshaft caps in and spark plugs all in. Let's get this exhaust manifold on. Nicely done. On you go. I have done the exhaust manifold on the other side already. Let's get these cam gears on though and get the front end of this engine all finished off. Hopefully. Come on then. Let's go on with the cam gears. Now we should have some timing chains. Nicely done. One and two. 
and then some lovely timing shoes to go on here as well let's get these all buttoned up nice and easy on you go there you go there you go and on with the other side as well and then we should get some of these lovely covers on which are colored looking lovely but let's get this water pump on first i have done this one in the blue so we've got the gunmetal gray around the outside mr bolt and the blue down the middle like the rest of the car on with the water pump pulley just because it's right here and then let's throw this timing cover on down here i've done that one in blue as well to keep in line with the blue stripe down the middle although it does change in a minute so anyway let's crack on i've got lots of rollers to put on so let's get all of these on on you go on you go nice move over here on you go there we go power steering pump i have done that one in a green just for a bit of a splash of that to the side there alternator can't be painted but it does look cool in its performance parts chrome anyway same as the engine heads there another roller here on you go and then another crank well, not another but a crankshaft pulley on there one of the belts on you go we can't do the other belt yet but we can get one of the tensioners on in that lovely green for a splash more of that so let's get the supercharger on then let's throw you on you are in the gunmetal gray it's quite a bit lighter on the engine than it is on the body of the car although i have played around with it to try and get it to match a slight bit better but we shall see when we drop it in last roller is it why can't I do the belt now? What am I missing? I think I'm missing something. I don't know. Let's just carry on though. Let's go around. Fuel filter on there. Oil filter on the top in that green. Just for a splash more of that. And then the throttle in the blue. Keeping it in line there as you can see. Looking pretty smart. Can I do that belt now? No, I can't. I'm still missing something. Maybe. Oh, there's another roller I think. So let's get these timing covers on. I have done these in the green. Just for a splash of extra colour. Looking smart. Quite pleased with that. There's that other roller I was on about nicely done they looking cool last roller on i believe there there we go then we can get the belt and then the last belt tensioner on there nicely done looking cool let's move up a little bit then so the engine head covers these are in a blue they are a slightly different blue to the rest of this because it's a plastic part but it's still quite a nice looking blue it's not too bad quite pleased with how it turned out we've got some ignition coils to go in let's throw you in one two three and four there we go let's just go around the other side and get this head cover on as well same blue obviously a bit darker but it still does still look good i'm quite pleased with it quite happy with that thing it looks all right get the coils on then we've just got some fuel rails to go and that top cover so let's get this one all finished off fuel rails in the green just for a splash more of that looking pretty sweet i am very pleased with this engine so far that is looking great last bit to go on is the cover which is in blue it is the same blue as them engine heads with a lighter blue just on the lettering there and that is this beautiful jaguar engine all finished looking absolutely incredible i am very 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 pleased with that let's get it dropped in to the sports monster truck off the stand you come and let's go drop you in and get this one all finished off in we go drop you in let's get you put away and let's have a look see what it looks like that's not looking bad i'm quite pleased with that so you can see the blues on there that match that one it's a bit darker but i think it's just because it's in the shade the green there again a bit darker but it's mostly just because it's shaded from the cover there that's looking pretty awesome and let's go up in the air we need to get some drive shafts in we need to get some exhausts in and we need to get that gearbox done find a nice little spot to squeeze in underneath there there we go right gearbox in you go in that gunmetal gray hopefully it matches the engine not too far off just a bit of a smoother finish on there looking pretty sweet transfer case in the blue for a splash more of that why not literally just because it can be that is the only reason looking pretty sweet let's get that starter in let's head around here start in you go in the green just for again a splash more of that let's get some exhaust section in in you go in you go and let's get these mufflers on on you go and on you go poking out the side there drive shaft for the front side and then the last piece before the wheels the rear drive shaft on you go this car is a very nearly finished is looking absolutely incredible so far very pleased with it but we need to come out we need to get out of here now i'm stuck there we go we just need to get some wheels done all the liquids topped up and then this car will be outside in the sun hopefully looking incredible i'm very pleased with how it's turning out so far it is time to get this one finished off i'll see you in a minute here we are then outside in the sun with the sports monster truck ribson starline looking absolutely fantastic i really do love this livery i really think it looks cool it's just got a little bit of something to it i really like how this has turned out i think it looks fantastic i think that engine looks absolutely great in there it's a shame that the cover couldn't quite match that blue 
the only disappointing thing, but it still looks absolutely awesome. And the suspension all the way through, oil pan poking through, lovely greens and blues showing through there. I really do love this one. You can also always see, also see, always, the blue brake calipers are through there. I really do think this one looks fantastic. Really cool. And plus, you've got the additional bonus parts there of the spoiler, although we're not calling it a spoiler. It is a body mount frame mount don't know what you would call it to attach the suspension to the car We've got one at the front as well somewhere getting around there squeezing on through there it is just there attaching these parts together and yeah maybe sort of to the engine i don't know but it looks absolutely awesome let's talk about these absolutely mammoth wheels they're huge in your face we can't exactly not talk about them these are the rim modern 2b at the front here they are 22 inch with a 385 width and a 75 profile with ET of 130 to bring it out this far from the car. Obviously a few bits edited in the config as well. It doesn't rub there. Little bit of clipping when you turn, but it is not too bad. Obviously with the B rims, they are two-tone. I've gone for green on the inside, uh, around the outside, sorry, with a black central. Looking awesome. The rear's pretty much the same size. 22-inch rim again, 385 width, 75 profile, but only 120 ET needed at the back here. Doesn't need to come out quite as far. Plus, these wheels don't turn because we don't have four-wheel steering. But this one looks fantastic. You can, can't quite get under there. But you can see the transfer case, the gearbox. It is absolutely awesome. I'm in love with this monster truck. It is so, so cool. But let's jump in this one and see what that Jaguar V8 sounds like in a Ribson Starline. Let's go. It's nice interior. I don't really think I've ever paid much attention to the interior in here, but it looks quite good. Anyway, let's get you started up and see what you sound like. That's a very mean tick over from a Ribson Starline. It is a bit of a monster truck, though. Loving this one. Let's give it some gas. Not quite as mean at the top end, but you can hear that supercharger just whining just a little bit. Loving the sound of that one, but we need to get it on the dyno and see what horsepower this one's got today. Might be a little bit mad. Here we are then on the dyno with the Ribson Starline, a virtual mechanic edition sports monster truck and it's Jaguar V8 AJ133 engine. 720 base horsepower today. How much did we add with performance parts? Let's have a look. A gain of 528 horsepower, 74%, very nearly three quarters of an engine gained bringing our total horsepower up to 1,248, which is actually pretty high for a massive monster truck on off-road tyres that barely even fits on the dyno, only just squeezes on there, as you can see. But let's have a look at the gearbox tuning setup today. There she is, a 2.9 ratio. I would ignore all of that, really. I don't think it sort of matches even closely. But 922 in top gear, don't think we're going to quite get there. But hopefully we can push towards the 500 mark. Let's get it on the track. Let's find out what she'll actually do. Here we are then on the speed track with the Ribson at Starline at Sports Monster Truck. Let's see what we can get to. It is four-wheel drive. It is still an off-road tyres, but let's go. Wow. First, second, third. S struggling a little bit in third there. There we go. Up into fourth and already up to 300 kilometres an hour. Absolutely flying. Maybe we will push that 500. There we go. There's 400 kilometers an hour. Where will we finish off? 430, 440. There's 450. Quite easy. 60, 70, 477 kilometers an hour. And now we're off-roading with the Sports Monster truck. Let's be honest. Nobody came here to watch a Monster truck do some straight line speed, did they? We want to see us drive over some small green cars. So let's get off of this steep drop. There we go bit too extreme there and let's just start change the camera angle slightly so we can see what's going on let's just start running over some cars nicely done there we go this is what people really want to see monster trucks do isn't it drive over abandoned trashed cars that nobody wants pretty sweet it does just go straight over them as well no trouble at all it also does nice monster truck-esque style donuts looking pretty cool try not to get too dizzy this one is pretty insane, though. I love this truck. It is so cool. I definitely will not be selling this one. So there we have it. 477 kilometers an hour. 23rd in our speederboard from the sports Munster truck. The Ribson Starline Munster truck with off-road tires is four-wheel drive, though. So I guess it does count. And there is sort of a theme going on here. I don't know what to say. I like to take cars that aren't off-road and make them bigger. 
I don't know. I don't normally like to do it very much. I like low down body kits, that sort of thing. But this one, it was just a cool idea given to me by Pi Newton. I must say, thank you very much for that, buddy. It and then I just went with it, ran with it to see what I could come up with, and then I decided it was quite cool. So this is what we're going for. This is my entry to the Discord competition for the Ribson Starline with a big American style monster truck on an import car, looking awesome with a cool little livery. Nothing too fancy, nothing too special. I did put a little bit of time into it, but it looks awesome. I'm very pleased with how this one turned out. I really do think it looks insane. What do you guys think? Do let me know in the comments below. And yeah, still 477 kilometers an hour, 23rd in the speederboard. I, I was not expecting that in any way, shape or form. I know we put a big old Jaguar V8 in there and gave it loads of performance parts, but I still wasn't quite expecting that from this one. It is absolutely incredible, but let's jump into some facts and figures about this. Now, I did buy the car for 52555 losing out on 12040 profit right at the beginning, if you did stick around long enough to see that. I have since spent another 64289 getting this one up to where it is today, looking absolutely incredible. This monster logo is down the side there. Absolutely awesome. Putting our total spend at 116,844. Probably a little bit too much, but let's see if we can actually make a profit from this one here. So now uh, very nearly 134,000 kilometers on there. It is all 100% complete with 1,248 horsepower. A gain of 74%, almost three quarters of a brand new engine. But can we make a profit? Not that I'm selling this one, but would we have made a profit? 152,034 is the sale price. Take away 116,844, excuse me, would have left us with a profit of 35,190, which is an absolutely incredible profit from the Ribson Starline. Very, very pleased with that. That is awesome. We're not selling it, though, so we do have to take a loss of, well, quite a lot, a lot, a lot. But never mind. Money well spent because this one looks absolutely incredible. I cannot wait to play around with it a little bit further. But let's see what we got next. Go from one extreme to the other. One, a massive jumped up car with a V8 to one of the smallest cars with a V8. This is the Honda City Turbo 2, the V8 ver version, variant, whatever you want to call it. 240,208 kilometers on this one. Got it from the bad auction house and it is absolutely awful. Did we get a good deal? No, not really. I really should be better at this. 6,964 is what we paid for the car. I could sell it for 5,338, losing out on 1,626, which is a bit of a shame. But let's see what engine this one has got. It is the AXK engine. Do we put the supercharged engine in it? <gasps> that could be a bit insane. Maybe we will swap that one out to the V8 double overhead cam supercharged engine and make this little Honda City just absolutely ludicrous. One thing I do want to point out, though, this is pretty cool. There's a little Honda City motorbike in the back, and that is absolutely incredible. It's, I'm sure it's not a motorbike, some sort of scooter thing, but that is so cool. I did, I've never seen one of these cars in real life. Do they genuinely come with that? If they do, that is awesome. This will be for next time, though. But before we go, do remember, you do still have time to enter the Discord competition. By the time you see this video, which will be on Wednesday, the competition will close that midnight. Video comes out at 6 o'clock, so that's a good few hours. 6 p.m. until midnight is a fair amount of time to get an entry in. If you haven't got time to get an entry in, though, don't worry. Do vote for your favourite, whether it be my ludicrous monster truck or some of the other sportier-looking cars that are in the competition. Come and join us on Discord. Link is in the description below. Come and say hi. Come and take part in the competition. Have some fun with us. It is a pretty cool. That is it for today's video, though. Let's head back outside. If you do want to vote for my ludicrous, ludicrous monster truck, please come over to Discord and vote for it. It would be awesome. Imagine if this one, there's some pretty cool looking cars in there at the moment, though, to be fair. And I do just want to clarify, no offense, King Slowpoke, I absolutely love you, but your little model car isn't going to win. It has got the most votes, but it's just not going to win. It can't happen. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. If you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing, trying to get up to 250 so we can revisit all our old cars. We now have a new one in there with the Ribson Starline. This one is obviously sat out here forevermore and Delilah's in the shop, but we have a do, do have a few more in the garage or the parking to store them from. So thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.